The Ptolemy world map is a map of the world known to Hellenistic society in the 2nd century. It is based on the description contained in Ptolemy's book Geography, written c. 150. Based on an inscription in several of the earliest surviving manuscripts, it is traditionally credited to Agathodamon of Alexandria. Significant contributions of Ptolemy's maps are the first use of longitudinal and latitudinal lines as well as specifying terrestrial locations by celestial observations. The geography was translated from Greek into Arabic in the 9th century and played a role in the work of Al-Khwarizmi before lapsing into obscurity. The idea of a global coordinate system revolutionized European geographical thought, however, and inspired more mathematical treatment of cartography. Ptolemy's work probably originally came with maps, but none have been discovered. Instead, the present form of the map was reconstructed from Ptolemy's coordinates by Byzantine monks under the direction of Maximus Planudes shortly after 1295. It probably was not that of the original text, as it uses the less favored of the two alternate projections offered by Ptolemy. Continents The continents are given as Europe, Asia, and Libya Africa. The world ocean is only seen to the west. The map distinguishes two large enclosed seas, the Mediterranean and the Indian Due to Marinus and Ptolemy's mistaken measure of the circumference of the Earth, the former is made to extend much too far in terms of degrees of arc. Due to their reliance on Hipparchus, they mistakenly enclose the latter with an eastern and southern shore of unknown lands, which prevents the map from identifying the western coast of the world ocean, India bound by the Ganges rivers, but its peninsula is much shortened. The nation of Scythia located on the Indus River valley is coterminous Pakistan. Ceylon is greatly enlarged due to its reputation over the world. The Malay Peninsula is given as the Golden Chersonese instead of the earlier, Golden Island, which derived from Indian accounts of the mines on Sumatra. Beyond the Golden Chersonese, the Great Gulf Magnus Sinus forms a combination of the Gulf of Thailand and South China Sea which is bound by the unknown lands thought to enclose the Indian Sea. China is divided into two realms—the Qin Sinai and the Land of Silk Sirica, Owing to the different accounts received from the overland and maritime silk roads, the geography and the map derived from it probably played an important role in the expansion of the Roman Empire to the east. Trade throughout the Indian Ocean was extensive from the 2nd century, and many Roman trading ports have been identified in India. From these ports, Roman embassies to China are recorded in Chinese historical sources from around 166. The Danish historian Goodman Schutt attempted to reconstruct the Danish part of Ptolemy's world map. This derivative includes several place and tribe names, some of which can be interpreted to the contemporary equivalent. The most prominent feature of the map is the peninsula Jutland placed north of the river Albus Treva, west of the Saxonon Nessoi archipelago, east of the Scandii Nessoi, which itself lies west of a larger island Scandia. Scandia is home to the Gotai in the center, and the Firisoi in the east. North of Jutland lies a third archipelago Alokii Nessoi. 
South of the Albis lives the Lacobardoi and to its north the Saxonies. The west coast of Jutland is home to the Sigalones, the Sabaligio, the Cabandoi, the Yundusioi and the northernmost Kimbroi, possibly Kimbri. The centre and east is home to the Kimbrike, possibly Kimbri, the Chersonesos and the Charudes. <laughs> 